everybody, I'm back! <laughs> Sorry for being gone for so long, but with the view counts being low and my hyper fixation on drawing the seven deadly princes plus Solus, my mind has just been off. That's the only way I can describe it. But I'm back and I'm really hoping this video does well since Laguna is my absolute favorite out of the main cast and because I really love what I made. <laughs> I really hope you all like it. So, uh, anyway, wow, I can't believe we're on generation three, four, and five. <laughs> I remember really getting into Monster High, the original, though I was a bit older than the age that they were marketed for, but I really loved them. I was extremely into fantasy anything, and most of the dolls I had at the time were movie collections or like those Christmas and birthstone Barbies, so. So Monster High was a very big welcome. I loved the gothic elements and that each doll was based around the classic black and white monster films. I even had a few of the books, the original ones, not the diaries, though I eventually did get the diaries, but the original book was like completely off script of everything Monster High even is, but still, it was still a good read. Uh. However, like all good things, they don't last very long. Parents complained about the dolls, and Mattel downgraded them. And I fell out of the fandom, mostly because they weren't posting webisodes anymore, and the dolls were just your average fashion doll. Like, they weren't, they weren't as fun to look at as their originals. Though, until there was talk about Generation 2, I tried really hard to be excited. I did really like the style of the movie, but everything else was meh. Making Draculaura the founder of Monster High was a big mistake, and making Laguna a femme Tony Hawk was a thought. <laughs> like, yeah, she likes sports, but you don't have to 2000 skater boy her. Like, even now, they're doing that to all of them, and I'm not, I'm not understanding this, like, fascination with skateboarding. Uh... Anyway, Gen 2 had nothing for me, so again, I left, and now we're here, Generation 3, and it's a total mess. <laughs> One, the artwork for the box is bad, like, it's not awful, it's just kind of boring and less fashion-y. The reason that Gen 1's art style was so well-liked is because of how dramatic it was, along with looking like actual fashion poses. Two, the movie, dolls, and animated show are very inconsistent with each other. The movie, I can look past since it's live action and I refuse to acknowledge it in any form of the way because it is completely retconned everything, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but the animated show not looking like the dolls is weird. Kids normally watch the show first, so when they go to the store, it's easier to recognize the character, but if they don't look alike, a kid's not gonna buy the doll. I mean, Cleo is wildly different from her doll form and her animated form. Like, I just don't get why they did that. I don't know. I don't... There's such a disconnect between the two, whereas the original Monster High had such a connection for both. And it's extremely too colorful. And that's coming from me, the person who adores color. Like, these are monsters. These are monster characters. Like, monster and gothic aesthetic are so iconic with each other. Taking it away is like having a peanut butter sandwich without jelly. Sure, it tastes good, but it's just not satisfying. I'm so tired of reboots, and I'm tired of everyone pretending that the reboots are such a great idea. Oh my god. Ugh, sorry. Uh, anyway, what can be said about G3 Laguna? Well, she's ugly. There, I said it. I'll power to you if you like it, but I hate this. I've never hated anything as much as I hate this version of Laguna. I mean, one, it's not even really Laguna anymore. Like, yes, everyone got an update, but they still look like their OG forms. But Laguna, nah. She kind of looks like if they took the Madison Fear doll and rebranded it for Jojo Siwa. Like, one, they made her pink. Like, why? Her last name is Blue. Like, did they think we'd forget that she's blue? Like... <laughs> Ah, mm. Okay, there's been talk that the reason they did this was because girls don't like blue. That's stupid. Girls do like blue. Hello, I'm right here. I mean, why would they do that when they've already made Frankie blue? So that can't be it. And they can't say it was to make sure that only Frankie was blue because Dracula is also pink. So so that I, I really have no idea why. Also, they made her Latina, which is okay. I mean, I'm Salvadorian. All power to you. But, but I mean, why? Like, we already have three Latina monsters, which I have. Like, they could have made more. 
I would have preferred more, honestly. But like, Monster High was already super inclusive. Yes, some of the accents were a little iffy, but still, you know, it's the thought that counts. There were so many backgrounds in the series, and that's- I loved it so much. Plus, I mean, Australia is super popular right now, thanks to Bluey. Yes, I watch Bluey. Don't judge me. They even could have had a collaboration with Bluey and the original Blue Laguna, like, that would have blown kids' minds. I probably would have bought something immediately if there was a collaboration between the two, like- Like, I personally just don't get it. I really liked the original Australian Laguna, like, it made sense, it was cute. Anyway, the design is fine. To a degree. It, it's- it's- <laughs> I guess. It's just not Laguna. Also, they made her and basically everybody else too modern, like, this is a fashion doll line, so why does she look like Ariana Grande on her day off? But I mean, seriously, what about this outfit says merfolk? It's so basic and boring, like, the jacket covers her arm fins, and yes, the doll's original arm sleeves are mesh, however, the animated form is a solid hoodie, so it's just like, why? Also, why are her legs ombre? I've seen people say that they really like it, and in the back of my mind, I'm just like, okay. Because <laughs> you guys know how I feel about ombre, it needs to be done correctly in order for it to work. This does not work. For one thing, they're two different types of color, whereas Laguna's body is normal pink, and her legs are an iridescent see-through blue. They don't blend well, <laughs> like at all. And the fact that they didn't do it to her hands as well is kind of weird. Like, why is it only her feet? Why not the rest of her? <laughs> Ugh. I can't with this. Even the animated version looks bad, like, they did way too much with the colors, and way too little with her actual style of outfit. Like, it's super tacky. It really is. It's all over the place. Ah. <laughs> it's not coherent enough for me to actually enjoy it, if that makes sense. Though I will say the only thing I did like that they that they did for her was give her sharp teeth. I think that was really smart considering the fact that Laguna is the least monster looking out of everybody. So that was a nice touch, but <laughs> but there's just oh uh, okay, there's so much I want to say about this ugly doll or just like this ugly design in general, but We'd be here all day, and I'd really just like to get into the redesign. <laughs> okay, it's no secret that I love original Laguna, but it's not a but it's not a hundred percent. You know, like there are a few things that I do do not care for in her original design, and that's fine. But the new one lacks so just lacks so much. <laughs> So when redesigning her, I went back to the original skin color. She's Laguna Blue, not Laguna Pink. It's not fair she was the only one completely rebooted. Anyway, I made her blue, but also added a darker blue layer on the back side of her body since that's how sea creatures are. Their underbellies are light, which helps them blend in with the upper waters to confuse predators. And since Laguna lives in the Great Scarier Reef, she'd have this style of skin. Because as you can see, where, where she lives is a little higher up than lower down. I also took inspiration from her sister's design as she had a lot more going on and looked more like a monster. <laughs> That was always an issue with the OG Laguna that I had. Like, she looked too much just like a basic blue person that a fish anyway. Anyway, I added a fin to her upper head, made her eyebrows more scale-like, added gills to her neck and torso. Uh, I also made her ear fins more similar to how the creature from the Black Lagoons are, as you can see. See, it's more on his face than where our ears are. Uh, I also gave her more scale-like breaks on her arms and legs, uh, also similar to her dad's movie description. Uh, as for the freckles, I kind of just went crazy with them, putting them everywhere since she only ever had them on her cheeks. As for Laguna's hair, I really wanted to do like a fin type hair, but since this is a doll brand for kids, I kept it the same. I also thought it was weird that Laguna was blonde, like her mom and dad aren't blonde, but also why blonde, right? Like I still love it, but you know, it's just one of those things you think too hard about in the middle of the night. Uh, anyway, I made her hair blue and mint green with blonde highlights. Uh, I also added pearls to her braid, you know, just for, just for some fun. Uh, also I know it's hard to tell, but the top of her head is braided. I did fishtail braids on top that fuse into like one big braid. <laughs> And at the end of her braid is one of Australia's national flowers. Since Laguna has always had a pink flower, it kind of makes sense that that was what they were referencing. 
Uh, anyway, for Laguna's makeup, I pretty much kept it the same. Trust me, I tried all kinds of colors, but purple just works. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also flattened her nose to something more fish-like and also made the whites of her eyes a dark blue-green color, as again, her OG self looked too human. Uh, anyway, for her outfit, I did have a hard time coming up with something since her OG outfit, though iconic, is kind of boring. Her Gen 3 version is just a mess. <laughs> like, like Laguna has always had to be in the water at some point during the day as her skin dries out a lot, so her outfit needs to be easy to take off. Uh, I've also seen so many redesigns where she's in really complicated outfits, and I'm like, how is she supposed to swim in that? or take it off. Like, again, I get that this is a fashion doll, but there are ways to make comfy clothes fashion forward. Not this though. <laughs> but yeah, it was a struggle. And though it's not exactly what I was hoping to come up with, I think it's cute enough. You know, a simple crop top with shorts with a beach wave design. I kind of went with the 90s aesthetic, though I did give her a swimsuit underneath. It's a simple one piece with the sides cut out for her gills. So she'll be able to breathe when she's in the water. Uh, I also tried to keep the same colors for the whole outfit to make it somewhat seem like a swim captain uniform, since that's what she is. A lot of the reboots seem to forget that and lean too hard on her love for sports when a good chunk of what she liked was swimming and saving animals. Like, Laguna was more than just some sport jockey. Like, she was kind of the level-headed one of the group and was always herself. Even when Gil's parents didn't approve of her, she stuck to her principles about things and she was always kind and always helping like I really hate how they've downgraded her from her former self like I know Laguna wasn't popular with kids in general but she was one of those characters that was just like you need a friend like that you need someone in your group like Laguna yes everyone is super fun and quirky but Laguna is like you know she's that calm person that cool kid you know like the person I would have liked to have been as an adult, but I, I clearly am not. <laughs> anyway, I gave her back her fishnets because, I mean, the joke is right there. <laughs> and also gave her a see-through jacket that has slits for her fins. Uh, I also gave it a water effect on top to stick with the sea theme. As for her shoes, they're simple. Uh, zipper slip-ons, the fabric on top is similar to water shoes. But yeah, I kept her platforms. They're cute and a perfect combination of, he of high heels and flip-flops. <laughs> I also made her feet a little bit more monstery, but you know, you can see it. It's right there. <laughs> uh, as for accessories, I just did simple stuff like hand woven bracelets and a shark fang choker, but I didn't want to lose her signature seahorse and even Gen 3 kept it, so I should too, right? Uh, so I gave her a seahorse side bag. I did want to give her another bag. One similar to the cat bag for her fish, but honestly, she shouldn't be carrying around her fish at all. It's super unsafe and mean to the fish. But yeah, uh, I absolutely adore this design. I'm so happy. Like, I really want this version as a doll, but Doll Lightful doesn't do commissions, so I'll just so I'll just be happy with this. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. The next video, the next video will be Cherry, obviously. <laughs> But I'm thinking I'd like to draw Frankie next. It's like, I have so many ideas. Just, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, bu I'm buzzing to draw Frankie. Anyway, uh, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel since YouTube is killing me here for some, some reason. I don't know. I keep trying to figure it out. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope you all have a super fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!